Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to paint the top of the wood burning stove. Uh, this is a finished product. Alright, uh, it looks really nice. Uh, I'm going to show you from the beginning to the end. And you want to make sure that you remove everything around it that you do not want to get overspray on. Make sure you have cardboard or something to put behind it uh, so you don't get overspray. Alright, but it's a, a really nice way to turn your rusted old uh, wood burning stove into something that looks pretty nice. Hey everybody, this is a wood burning stove and it's got some rust on top of it. We're going to show you how to take care of this. I did sand it down quite a bit already, but what I used was, uh, was a wire brush. Uh, you can just use the sandpaper and you just go there and, and scrub it down real good. If there's any lumps, you need to get those off. Work all the way around on both sides. Uh, you're going to need some high temperature paint. This uh, goes up to 1200 pounds. Uh, 1200 degrees and you're going to need a, a damp cloth all right so uh, so I already did a lot of this but what it does is it roughs up the surface so the paint will adhere and then uh, then you take a towel and you wipe because see that that's what you want to get off so you want to keep wiping this until that there's nothing there so you go through quite a few of these because if you leave any dust there or anything uh, the paint will not adhere so wipe it down real good and let it dry I'm going to do my very best to stay out of your way so you can see what's going on. This is the uh, heat, high heat. Okay, it's up to 12, 1200 uh, temperature for barbecues. So uh, use something, a cardboard, to stop this from getting on any walls and stuff. So um, and uh, keep it away from your hand. Give it a good shake until you can hardly hear the ball anymore, and just go back and forth, very lightly back and forth. I'm getting the edges. And it, kind of, it, it washes off the glass real easy. So uh, just uh, spray it nice and easy, going back and forth. All right. Remember, if you leave it running like I do, you're doubling on the edges. So, uh, and I like putting about three coats on. Let it dry and put three coats on. I'm going to get in the back as far as I can. I'm going up a little bit on on this too, just to make it uniform. But it's actually looking very nice. I'm doing little spurts because I don't want it to puddle. Okay, it's looking really nice. So I'm gonna get around on this side now and put it over there, and that's just fine. So, uh, so I'm gonna work my way around, work my way going out, nice and easy, and that's looking really nice. So I'm gonna put about three coats on and bring it back but that's looking really good take a look it's looking really black and that's the way it should be all right so i'm going to put three coats on that i'm not doing the rest of it right now i do that every five years or so but the top actually gets pretty rusty and that's the first thing people see so i'll bring you right back and there it is my wife is going to love this when she gets home three coats all right i went uh i went up and down and then I went across to make sure I get full coverage and I got behind it. Pretty cool. Alright, subscribe to see a lot more helpful videos. Bye.